Are the New York Knicks looking to trade for Anthony Davis this summer? An anonymous GM has listed the Knicks as the most likely and best fitting destination if Davis is traded from the Lakers. We're going to break that down on today's video. But first, I got to ask this question. Do you want us to go live on the channel for tomorrow's game between the Heat and the 76ers to potentially get an up-close look at who the Knicks might play in round one? If you want us to go live, hit that thumbs up icon for us. Maybe when we get like a thousand likes, we'll end up doing it. Today's Knicks Now video is presented by 8sleep. Go to 8sleep.com slash chat sports and get $200 off plus free shipping. Invest in the rest that you deserve. We'll tell you more about our awesome sponsor, 8sleep, coming up in a couple of minutes. But I want to dive into today's video as an anonymous GM sat down with Heavy Sports and linked the New York Knicks to Davis and mentioned them as a highly likely and maybe the best suitor to land Davis in a blockbuster trade this summer. This is what the general manager said to Heavy.com. When you look at it, if you are serious about trading Davis at some point, then you need to accomplish a few things. You have to get him somewhere he wants to be. He wants to be a Laker. So if you trade him, you have to do right by him. Send him to a good team in a good market. You don't want to burn any bridges with Clutch Sports or Davis's representatives. You need a team willing to take on his money because it's a lot. And you need a team who can load you up with draft picks. There's really one team that fits all of those, and that's the Knicks. It would not be hard to make a deal work there. You can line up the salaries. You can package a ton of picks. You can throw in a young player. You can take on a salary the Lakers might not want. I mean, he is one player, and you can get a huge haul. I'll say this before we dive into Davis as a player, and we'll go into as well what the Knicks might have to give up and if I think it's a good idea or not. But it's not just that the Knicks would be a great destination for Anthony Davis. The New York Knicks would be a great destination for any player or any star player that is traded or that is looking to be traded. Let's tell you why. Number one, the New York Knicks have the cleanest cap book of any team in the NBA while having star players, star players under contract. Look at this cap sheet right here. You have players under contract through 2025 and 2026, and then that is it. Yeah, you have Josh Hart beyond that, Dante DiVincenzo beyond that, but those are really good salary and price points. And also, Miles McBride might be the steal of the season so far in which the salary that they are playing them. This is a very clean uh, team payroll and cap sheet for the New York Knicks. On top of that, they are loaded with as much draft capital as any team really in the NBA outside of the Oklahoma City Thunder. They have two first round picks in 2024. They have their own first round pick and they also have the Dallas Mavericks first round pick. They will have potentially four first round picks in 2025. They have eight tradable first round picks right now and 11 First rounders in the next seven seasons. That 2025 draft capital we're talking about, you own the rights to the Milwaukee Bucks first round pick. That's top four protected. Unless shit hits the fan in Milwaukee, that is going to convey. The new protections for Detroit and Washington's pick are now top 13 and then top 10. If the Detroit pick does not convey this year, it rolls to 11 and then nine, then potentially becomes two second round picks. And then for Washington, it goes from top 10 to top eight. And if that does not convey, then it will convert to two uh, second round picks. So the Knicks, they have the money opportunity to take on a large salary. And they also have the draft kit pick compensation to really make anybody interested in an offer that the New York Knicks might just offer. Before we dive any further into Anthony Davis and if it's a good fit for the Knicks, what they might have to give up, and my thoughts on that, I want to hear from you. Would you want Anthony Davis on the New York Knicks? Type Y for yes, type N for no. We'll break down the idea of the Knicks trading for Anthony Davis. I'll share my thoughts. We'll look at a proposed trade, and I'll try to tell you if I think it's a good idea or a bad idea. But I first got to tell you about our proud presenting sponsor, Eat Sleep. Go to eatsleep.com slash chat sports. Get $200 off plus free shipping. The high tech solution to your age old sleeping issues. Invest in the rest that you 
deserve. Eight Sleep Spot 3 cover slips right over your mattress, bringing heating and cooling tech that keeps you comfortable and sleeping deeper for a better, more restful night. I love Eight Sleep because it has totally stopped my night sweats. I'm someone that even when it's 30 degrees outside, I need the fan on, and I can still find a way to be sweaty. But the pod cover, it fixed that. It will improve your sleep by automatically adjusting your bed's temperature based on your individual needs. The cover can be added to any bed like a fitted sheet and allows you and your partner to cool or warm your side of the bed as low as 55 degrees and up to 110 degrees. In addition to keeping you at the perfect temperature all night, the pod also tracks your sleep and health metrics. On average, pod users see their sleep quality improve by 32% after just a month on the pod. Go to 8sleep.com slash chat sports and get $200 off plus free shipping on the pod cover by 8sleep. Invest in the rest that you deserve with the 8sleep pod. I'll make sure all that information is clickable down in the comments and description of today's video. I got to be honest with you guys. Anthony Davis has been a dream trade target for me in the Knicks. Um for quite some time, and I think anybody that has watched basketball when it comes to strictly on the basketball floor, what Davis would mean to the Knicks. A pairing of Brunson and Anthony Davis, in my opinion, will be the best duo in the Eastern Conference, and that could lead you and potentially win an NBA Finals. And this year, he was absolutely great. 24.7 points per game, 12.6 rebounds, one of the best defenders in the league at 2.3 blocks, 1.2 steals per game, and he knocked down his shots at 55.6% from the field. Most important thing about this graphic, though, is he played 76 games. That is the most he has played in the last four seasons. The year prior, only 56 games. Prior to that, 40 games. The one prior to that, just 36 games. So the talent is there. There's no doubt about it. Anthony Davis, if he played all 82 games every year, would be one of the best players in NBA history. But the thing is, he hasn't played more than 56 games twice in the last four years. And on top of that, the injury worries and the injury, I would just say proneness of OG and an OB and Anthony Davis would be the end of me. That would drive me up a wall. I'd be sitting on eggshells all year long. I would be upset because they would probably get hurt, maybe, potentially, at the same time. But that defense, though, that defense of OG and Anobi, whoo, Anthony Davis on the same floor playing defense, the Knicks would be the best team in the NBA when it comes to defense. They would be a nightmare for any offense trying to score points because, in my opinion, you have the best wing defender in the league in OG and Anobi, and you have a top five big man defender in the league in Anthony Davis. The only way that this would actually happen, though, is if LeBron James forces his way out of L.A. this offseason. If LeBron wakes up this offseason, they don't win the finals, they lose in the first round, they lose in the playoffs, whatever it may be, maybe LeBron forces his way out. And the Lakers are like, all right, we're just going to hit this reset button. And Rob Palenka is going to look to trade Anthony Davis and get back as many assets and draft picks to restart that rebuild very, very quickly. And that is why I think, just like the anonymous GM said, the Knicks are a great landing spot and make a lot of sense for an Anthony Davis trade. What does it look like? I tried to come up with a trade. Randall and Robinson's salary matches perfectly with Anthony Davis's salary. Um... Yeah, I mean, this is a lot. There's no doubt about it. There is no doubt about it. They're giving up Julius Randle, two-time, three-time, two-time All-NBA player, three-time All-Star, Mitchell Robinson, a center on a really good contract, and multiple first-round picks. If I'm the Lakers, I may be asking for even a little bit more than this. Maybe it's Steven Chenzo. Maybe it's McBride. Maybe it's Hart. But I think this would be, at bare minimum, what the Knicks would, or what the Lakers would be looking to get for uh, for from the Knicks. So I want to ask you the question. Would you make this trade? Type A for accept. Type D for decline. Would you make the move? Trading Randall to LA. Robinson as well. And multiple first round picks. To get back Anthony Davis. Let me know. A for accept. D for decline. For me. This is tough. To say no to. Because. As much as it pains me to say this. Julius Randle, last two years, has been an injury-prone player. Mitchell Robinson, throughout his career, has been an injury-prone player. And if you can trot out a starting lineup of Jalen Brunson, Dante DiVincenzo, Josh Hart, 
OG and an OB, and Anthony Davis, you are immediate finals contenders. I believe you'd be the best team in the Eastern Conference, and you would be in the top five odds to win the NBA championship. You would also have the best defense in the NBA. Hart, Chenzo, OG, Anthony Davis. And look, if AD is healthy, yes, I'm pulling the trigger. If I'm guaranteed at least 70 games for the next four seasons from Anthony Davis, I'm doing the deal, and I'm not thinking about it twice. But the injury history, you can't ignore that. And that, for me, is a major, major sticking point for me. The Knicks are built to be able to contend now, while also being built to make a big-time trade. And trading for a guy like Davis, who is on a mega contract right now that has major injury risk and major injury issues, um, man, man, oh, man, that, that is tough. I think ultimately I would say no because of the age and injury history. But man, oh man, it is hard to say no to that talent. It is hard to say no to that talent. Make sure you are following me over on social media at Marshall Green underscore on Twitter as well as at Marshall Green underscore on Instagram. Tough to say no. Tough to say yes. I think it will be good food for thought. I want to see you guys embrace debate down in the comment section. 